All right, here we go. The first ever campus stream. Here we go. Let's go. Let's do campus it. Campus live. I'm excited. We're located here at the Graduate in East Lansing. Who is the better basketball player between the two of us is a question being asked right now. We've had this conversation we've many times. We've had this take. conversation. Oh, where's the foul? Yeah. But, yes, we've had this conversation many times. Uh, this is an ongoing debate. And uh, we just got uh, a couple new pairs of shoes today that was going to allow us to go ahead and uh, put that to rest here in, yep. in some one-on-one -on -one here. I think um, he thinks he is. We got something here. Got something in the chat. Yeah, we're going to go over our brackets here. Yep. The first TV timeout uh, coming up here. First whistle after the 16-minute mark. And uh, the bracket is not looking too good right now. Uh, yeah. For me, at least. I don't know about you. Same here. You think you could take Keon Coleman one-on-one? -on -one? Keon Coleman. Basketball game? Um, to be honest, I've seen him play. And if the game is played above the rim, no, I could not play with him. <laughs> but, um, you know, if we're shooting the ball, he's a good shooter. I'll give it to him. He's a good player. So, um he would definitely bury me, but I feel like I'd be able to put up a good fight. So I played with Keon Coleman a few times, actually. Uh, like you said, if it's above the rim, I don't know if I can hang too you, much. You, but you can get up. You can he's get a up. bucket. I can get up, but yeah, he's a bucket for sure. But I think I can give him. Yeah, Keon definitely. I can give him a run school. for his money. I think he had a couple games in high school over sixty. So it's impressive stuff. Doesn't matter what the competition is. Yeah, so. it's a mess right now. Definitely a mess. You're struggling. It'll be interesting to see who's worse, mine or yours. I really don't know. We haven't checked yet. Yeah. This was brought to you by Grand Woods Lounge in Grand Rapids. Um, it's adjacent to the Van Andel Arena, and uh, we thank you uh, to the Grand Woods Lounge. We got some good giveaways tonight. Go ahead and uh, and put your name in the chat. You live yeah, there, I, I lived there one summer, so yes. great made, place to live. Made my way over there a couple times. No doubt. Definitely remember move out day. We're late by about three hours, but, you know, we made it out. I've never been in I've the been actual in Izzo. Yeah. I've been in the lower bowl, yeah. but I can't say that I've been a part of Izzo. It's a pretty elite group to be a part of. So it I looks pretty crazy. It looks it, fun. It, it's definitely yeah, crazy. No doubt. I would say that uh, that we got absolutely one of the top student sections in the country when it comes to uh, the atmosphere that we bring here at Michigan State. Yeah, so no question. Anybody that has been to a game knows the Izzo is legit, and anybody that has been in the Izzo no knows doubt. that. I know they take pride in and uh, bringing the bringing the juice, juiceless or useless, right? If you juiceless, you useless. That's right. Say it all the time. Our coach Mel Tucker will uh, will be making the uh, an appearance at halftime uh, to join us over Zoom, and uh, we'll get to chat to him a little bit about how the game's going, um, and a little update on on the football off season, and uh, you know see how he's doing. No doubt, special guest Mel Tucker. I mean, when he first got there, walked down the aisle. It's a pretty cool experience, you know. COVID was going on and everything. I was just excited. I was pretty excited seeing him come in. He brought a lot of energy. Yep. Uh, he told us his mission, and I was excited about it from that point. Uh, we were on a team meeting room. Obviously, we were waiting for, uh, you know, our new head coach. I remember he walked, walked down in the team meeting room. Everyone gave him a standing ovation, and, uh, you know, it was fun. I remember his first, his first time addressing the team, and uh, I know we were excited once we heard him and excited once we heard – that he was going to be our new coach. So A lot of people don't know this, but if you ask Malik Hall, he'll tell you. I didn't dunk on him, but I was pretty close. Yeah, I, I think almost I dunked seeing on that Malik video. Hall. I think I remember seeing so that video. So if you ask him, he'll tell you the truth. But I don't know. He got a height advantage, so I'll, I'll give him the one-on-one. -on -one. I don't know if I can. If I remember right, it was a windmill. Or maybe it, what was it? Between I legs? almost windmilled. I almost windmilled on him. That would have been that would have been something. But almost don't count. So like that's true. That's what he's going. He that's what he's going to say. So you know, almost does not count. Yep. Have you ever met or had an experience with Coach Izzo? I got a funny story. So, um, a lot of people don't know this, but Tom Izzo is a a huge reason why I'm here right now. Yeah, I remember um, saying I came on my official visit, and um, uh, they took us into the the Breslin Center. Me and my mom went in his office. We had a talk. And, you know, great dude, brought great energy and everything, and it was just a great experience. He took me around the basketball building and everything, and I got to meet up with my, my best friend, Malik. And uh, I just felt at home. So, yeah, he's he's one of the reasons why I'm here right now for sure. Yeah, just talking awesome. to him, a great guy. I talked to the team uh, before we played the school down the road, and uh, I definitely remember that talk. That was definitely sure. a good uh, That was a great talk. A good intro to – okay, Tyson, here we go. Coach Izzo's an awesome guy, uh, obviously a great motivator, and, I mean, there's a reason 
There's a reason he's a Hall of Fame coach. Who's your favorite, favorite? past Michigan okay. State player? Let's hear it. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to have to go with Cassius Winston. Yeah. Me, I mean, that's personally, to I got to go with Cash. You can't go wrong with Cash, man. He was exciting that's, to watch. That's tough to beat. Yeah, that is tough to beat. We played the school down the road at home, and he went he went crazy that nice, game. Nice, AJ. And that was, that was fun to watch. Uh, we have practice early in the morning. In the morning. So uh, it's going to be a quick sleep for us tonight, but, yeah. you know, it'll be worth it. It's worth it for sure. It'll be worth it. Get to watch our guys here. I like the shot by Joey. I have Villanova. Also making the Final Four, and I had Iowa making the Final Four, you know, trying to represent the Big Ten. Obviously, they um, couldn't get it done yesterday, unfortunately, but, you know, I mean, I feel like I was one of many who got disappointed by Iowa yesterday, but, you know, that's all right. Uh, we had Duke win earlier. Texas Tech, obviously, is winning. Uh, Alabama, they lost, didn't they? Alabama choked. Yep, lost uh, against Notre Dame. Today. Arkansas got it done. Uh, Connecticut did not. Boise did not. Uh, UNC won by like 30 or something like that, so that was a good pick. Arcadia Smokehouse is close to campus. Uh, it has a turf patio with yard games, and it's a huge, it has a huge bar as well. Um, I've been to Arcadia Smokehouse, really good food. I mean, I really recommend it, you know, especially being cl close to campus and everything. Top five basketball players from MSU football team. Who you oh, got? Well, I like to say I'm one of them. I'll give it That's to you. That's just me. I'll, I'll definitely I think take I'm you one on of five. Them, I'll definitely sure. take you. Uh, the defensive end, you'll be locked down. And you you'll, know, you're a slasher. You have some things. No doubt. Um, <clears throat> we we had Coach Tuck uh, throw his starting five out the other day. I was happy to see that I made his list. So um, I think uh, you know he had Montori on there. Montori can Montori, definitely. Go. Montori can go. He can For sure. Montori go. Foster. Yep. Uh, who else we got? Uh, Should we count the two basketball? I mean, nah, I'm not counting the two. I'm not counting yeah. the two. We'll leave them. They're in their own category. Yeah. Uh, we'll go. We'll go non basketball playing football okay, players. Yeah, let's do that. That's so, that's more fair. I'm definitely taking me on the squad as well. I'm taking you as well. Thank no you. doubt. No I question. Appreciate the respect. So uh, we got me, you, Montori Foster, Terry, Terry Lockett. We'll take Terry. I'm taking Terry Lockett. I've heard Ethan Boyd's pretty good. Ethan Boyd's pretty good. But Coach Tuck did bring up a good point. I saw his little video in his interview. He he said, uh, yeah, "How many fouls are they allowing?" I can see Ethan being a hack. Mm, no doubt. definitely see that. Yeah, I mean, he's an old lineman, so he's got to, you know, see a lot of contact. Yeah, so. that's true. No doubt. Uh, uh, a lot of people sleep on uh, Noah Kim. I really like oh, Noah I'll Kim. Oh, I'll take Noah. I I'll think Noah, Noah Kim's pretty good. I played with him before, so. Representing the quarterbacks. No doubt. Yep. Absolutely. Um, I think that's a good five. That's a good five. I'm taking I that. We need a five. big man, though. We do need Those a big man. Those are pretty much small. all guards. Funny we got a lot of funny idea. stories. We got a lot of funny stories, man. I mean, every Man. day is a funny story at our it house. It is. Our house is just. It really is. We really don't have too many yeah. boring days. We, we really need to start our own podcast or something. Yeah, we should. That's sweet, you know. Everybody and their brother has a podcast. Yeah, these days, or a so. YouTube channel or I something. Mean, we might as well. No at doubt. At this point, get a microphone. That's all you need. Fun Sorry. fact. Um, Peyton Thorne played wide receiver over me. That is true. He started at wide receiver over me um, in high school. My sophomore year, story. junior year. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I had uh, had some gloves on our first game. Did not play quarterback, and uh, that was interesting. That first game, got uh, got my chance the second game, and then I begged them to let you play receiver. No doubt. Uh, when I was out there, and they still kind of didn't let let you, which was frustrating. Ooh, that didn't look good. Yeah, that did not look good. The Indiana game, that sideline catch. Oh, that was pretty skill. It's true. No gloves there. Oh my God. Oh, good hustle. Was that Foster? Yeah, there? that was Holy Foster. Cow. <laughs> Jeez. Coming up next, we got Internet Autofill Game. Um, you know, I'm sure some of you know what that is. Uh, me and me and Bird did not know what that was. Yeah, first timer for but sure. After I I'm saw excited. after I saw what it was, I, I think I, I think I understand. So I am excited. Uh, we'll give it a try. Jack Olson, <laughs> former kicker here at Michigan State. I'm not surprised that he's yeah, blowing up the chat box. We'll, we'll have to see what he has to say All in right. a little bit. Let's get this game going. I would say. You what know, did the ref say? The ref said that my my shin was down. I, and I mean, we don't officiate the game, so we got to go off the as, you know as far as the I facts. Know, that that is a he uh, that's down. was down. But you know what? That's in the past, and that'll be a question. Yeah, yeah, ask, we're moving but, on you know, from that. Yep. I believe. I believe right, that. Uh, next question. Yeah. Wait. Who's Bella Thorne? Who's Bella Thorne? Remember Disney Channel? Well, she's not Disney Channel anymore. Oh. But I don't know. Uh, no, I'm I am not married to that. Bella Thorne, but um, 
yeah, that's that's a that's a short, quick one. That's that right, answers cool. no. I, Being I around say. me, he's gaining a little more style. I, I he asked me a lot of questions about like you know drip and everything like that. So you yeah, know. I mean, you go about two years ago, no, no style. Same whatsoever. with me. I mean, there was a little tiny bit, but not really. Now All I feel right. like I got a little, you know, a little something, a little something. All right, we I'm got getting, two more quick there. questions. Two. Oh, he called it off on the ground again. Come on, that's tough. Still not even close to the bonus. That's all right. So let's see. Let's see what our first one is. Let me get my microphone here. Come on, man. What kind of question is that? I don't know. If I'm if I'm meeting you at the of rim, course. you might not be able to. I'll duck on Peyton. I don't know about all that. How fast? I don't I'm know. Probably for a blink of an eye. He's fast. Snap. He's definitely fast. I'm pretty fast. I can move. Yeah. Got some speed for sure. I could do anything. I don't know about karate. I could do anything. I mean, I wouldn't want to fight you, but I don't think you know. I don't think you know. <laughs> no, karate. I do not know karate. Unfortunately, I wish I did. Noah Kim knows karate. I'm pretty sure. Really? Yeah, he does some of that stuff. I have to ask him for some yeah, tips. Yeah, so don't mess with Noah Kim on the basketball court or with your fists. I'm a good dancer. Come on. <laughs> yes, you're a good dancer. I'll give it to you. You're I'm good the dancer. best dancer on the team. Not even um, close. We were gritty. In, we were, what, what was the game we were gritty in? Last uh, last week, me me and Kate, when we were going against, oh, it was the Super Bowl. Uh, oh, yeah, because you wanted yeah, to talk yeah, all types yeah, of yeah, yeah. all types of trash the whole game. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, the Bengals lost. That was not good. Come on, you know Tuck and Dance. Tuck can do it all. It's not the Tuck can't do. So okay, Coach Tuck dance. Yeah, Coach. Was you he dancing? Be seeing him? That's exactly what he does. Yeah, right that's his favorite move. <laughs> um, I feel like he was dancing today at practice or yesterday. Jack Olson wants to know my. Go to dance move when we're hmm. out. I don't think I have one. I think I'm just a freelancer. Yeah, you definitely. Yeah, you're I definitely. I don't a freelancer. really have a go to. Yeah, you I'm really just, don't. I, I got to read the room and figure out what the best what the best uh, yeah. go to is. Off beat, you got to go off the beat. Exactly. Whatever's playing, you exactly. adjust to. But I'm not it, afraid so. to dance. I, I will not, say that. Not, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll throw that. some I stuff admit, out there. I will admit, you are not. Down in Florida, you had some. Come you had on, some man. nice fits going. I'll give it to you. I put it on. They call me Mister. Put it on. Exactly. No. That's what people don't know. Fun fact about me, Jay Reed can sing. All right. You're on the spot. Let's go. I'm not singing right now. I'm going to leave that for, you know. All right. Another time. Uh, we're Again, we're here at The Graduate in East Lansing, uh, enjoying our time here. Uh, great atmosphere. Really a unique place, not like your traditional hotel. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a very different feel to it, and it, it's a nice place to be. Our halftime conversation with Coach Tucker will be brought to you by Chandler Crossing. Tuck is coming Tuck is coming. to the stage right now. Do we know who started that Tuck coming? No, I have no idea. Still don't know what it no. means. But I wonder who I wonder who originated that. Yeah. I wonder who did that. It definitely stuck. It's, yeah, very popular around here. So what else do we do at home? What's up? You a, laugh, you lose. What's a behind the scenes of a day? Yeah. A day at you home. You laugh, you lose is one of them. Laugh, you lose That's is one. one so you laugh, you lose. For those that don't know, is you can do anything. Anything. And everybody else who's there cannot laugh. Can't but laugh. we changed it to crack. You can't crack a smile. You can't crack a smile. That's what made it a little harder. So that definitely made it harder. And I will say you're the reigning champ. I am. I'm right. I'm, I'm ready to tell, though. I'm second. You right there. You I'm right there. Place. No, yeah, you definitely right there. We definitely have some good battles. Facts. It's kind of back and forth. I'm not going to lie. You, you do pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. What's going on? Well, so what do you much. think, Coach? What do you think so far? What's your, what's your update of the game so far? Yeah, but I heard you guys doing some impressions of me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> keep uh, jumping, keep jumping, keep jumping. Hey, Coach, he was bringing back he was bringing back a COVID year a COVID year impression. So we we forgot about yeah. all those all the COVID year stuff. But <laughs> we got practice in the morning time. Yeah, we do have practice. You know? We'll be ready to go. Don't to, worry. You got to sleep fast. No <laughs> doubt. We'll be ready to go. No question about it. Yeah. Rock. Rock. Okay. Rock. I like it. Any right, history yeah, behind tap, it? Or... I, got, I, I got a tap. Right okay. There. Nice. Nice. Right All right. That's, that's a two, for, yeah. two yeah. for one right there. We yeah, got the nickname go. and a tattoo. You, there we go. I like that you one. You got a two for man. You got a two <laughs> Yes, sir. The Rock. Coach, coming from a person that's a sneakerhead, you got shoe game and you got drip. So what do you got to say about that? I would, I would, I would tend to. Uh, I'm, I, I'm decent. I you decent? Man. I mean, I, 
you I know, think you're I'd more give, decent. I'd give, I'd give us a chance. Yeah, yeah for de- sure. Definitely giving us a chance. Definitely giving us a chance. And I don't know anything about sneakers, coach, and I know you got some guys. Oh, he got some too. drip, man. Trust me. I see it all the time. He got flair. Oh, yeah. That's true. So, now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. There's, a, there's a difference between drip and flair. Just okay, to be clear. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Hey. I actually have never even seen one of these. I don't know if I couldn't wait. I already took you, a sip. You it seen was this? good. So we're I've never some, seen a, I've never seen him before. I, yeah. Wow. This looks good. March at McDonald's means it's officially Shamrock Shake season, as you can see. And this minty treat is a perfect way to go green, as Coach Tuck just said. Yes, sir. Every time I went to McDonald's. Yeah, I went through a stretch of apple pies at McDonald's as well. McDonald's apple pie has been around for more than 50 years and features 100% American-grown apples. It's impressive. A golden crust baked to perfection and is topped with sprinkled sugar. As you guys can't see here, but... You know, this is Sorry for munching pie. you guys here. I'll move the mic up a little know, bit. Might as well move the mic up, will we? But it's good, so. Sorry, not sorry. Fun fact about Bird here: he his senior year, he was all state as a, re- excuse me, as a receiver and a corner, and he played about what ten snaps of corner. I only played about yeah ten Thir- fifteen 30? snaps, of, and I caught like how many pick two, sixes? Three did you pick have? sixes. Yeah, so I mean. I guess that's easy for you. Lockdown. For me, I would say I'd have to play receiver. Definitely. He got some hands. Yeah, I'm actually, not going to lie. I actually, quarterbacks have hands. Every, every quarterback, quarterbacks every hands quarterback out there knows that, that quarterbacks have hands. So I would definitely have to get my my uh, my agility back up, though. That no, cut, that's all good. That's that, nothing. You that know? cutting stuff is, is tough, the way you guys cut. But those those be the two. I mean, LeBron James or Michael Jordan? That is that is. Let us know in the chat right there. I'm going with LeBron James personally. I, mean, I know he might not like it. Are they going to make the playoffs this year? Are they going to hey, make man, the playoffs this year? LeBron is a legend. I, 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 LeBron I, yeah, is a legend. He's, a legend. he's done stuff that no one has done. But he's not the greatest of all time. I I believe so. Just think, if Jordan played as many years as LeBron played, what would his stats look like? Do you know how many? Goals of LeBron has accomplished. Yeah, so early in his career, he's thirty seven. He's played less games and everything. Then who? I mean, he's no. Yeah, he, uh, that's right. Okay, we got, we got right. some fact checkers out here. Michael Jordan has more rings, but he has a better record in the playoffs. LeBron has a better record in the playoffs with worse teams. Is that LeBron, true? LeBron, yes. We're gonna need someone like LeBron that. put his team on his back. I don't know if I believe that. And I believe LeBron is the greatest of all time. Just all I know my opinion. Is Jordan never even went seven games? What happened? Six championships, never went seven games. Dude took a break during this prime, left the game. He would have won both those years when he wasn't there, if you count the one year he came back like late. And then, I mean, if the the team wouldn't have broke up, they wouldn't have won again. That could have been what, eight, nine years in a row they would have won it? No man. way anyone's beating him. I yeah. still got LeBron, man. All right, whatever. Watch the film. Nobody played defense back in the day. They played more defense no. back then than they do now. They were just more dirty. The defense was horrible. I have they a, were dirty. I can show you a clip of Michael Jordan scoring and people just sta- standing there like a like a mannequin. And they don't do that today? Oh, I mean, they kind of do oh, it, but right. it's not as bad. Oh, Holy wow. Cow. <laughs> nice shot. Oh, wow. That's what we need. That is what we need. Nice. Make sure you put your priorities first, which is school. And, you know, everything else to take care of itself, you know. I would say, you know, just just work hard and, and and don't, you know, it doesn't have to be, you know, work hard for the right reasons. Don't don't act like you're working hard for um, social media and to put it out there and just make it seem like you're working hard, you know. Um, actually figure out what you want to do and figure out how bad you want it and then you got to go attack it and, and do it for the right reasons, you know. And if you're doing it for the right reasons, then, then you're going to go places and you're going to be able to take yourself as far as, you know, your limits allow you or your abilities allow you to. And oftentimes that's a lot more than you even think uh, you can. So that, that's what I would say. No question. Find your purpose. Yep. Uh, here, here in March, the month of March, we are uh, – Buick is highlighting women's sports and um, the impact that women's sports has had on, on not only the younger generations of women but – you know, 
uh, sports as a whole and, and, you know, our society as a whole. So um, do you have any uh, female athletes that have inspired you um, over your life? I want to say actually uh, Nia Cloudin. She's actually a yeah. MSU uh, basketball player here. Uh, she plays for the women's basketball team here at Michigan State. Yeah. Um, I really – I really like watching her game. She has a lot of game. I, I like watching her. So Absolutely. she actually had a fifty point game this this year. So that's impressive, man. That's that's very impressive. So yeah, that is impressive. Yep. I think she was excited just to see her future. She's she just declared for the the women's uh women's NBA draft. So Wow. I think she was uh I saw All American. No doubt. I saw no that on Twitter. Is, yeah. So that's that's so, big time uh, here here at Michigan State. But for me, um, the first, the first person that comes to mind for me is actually my little sister. She's a nice, uh, sure. a soccer player, uh, plays volleyball as well. Uh, back back in Naperville, goes to Naperville Central, Bean. and she's uh, uh, doing well on the uh, on the varsity soccer team. And you know, I'm hoping to see, or I'm excited to see where she goes with soccer. But then also with Naperville Central, I think of uh, Candace Parker. You know, nice. I uh, thought of her as well. A lot no of people doubt. see her as the greatest women's basketball player of all time, and obviously she's just doing a lot of uh, cool things right now. I think she's on the you know broadcasting team or the you know halftime halftime team here in March Madness. So nice. Uh, she went to our high school, uh, Naperville Central. So uh, we've heard all about her, and uh, you know she's a hometown hometown hero in a way. You know, so uh, that's, that's definitely another female athlete that I think of who's done big things, very big things. No question about it. Funny fan stories coming off after the games, and and fans are, uh, you know, looking for something to take home. So yeah, I, I've never had that one before, so that yeah. that's pretty interesting. That, so. that was interesting. Yeah, but yeah, there's a lot of fan stories out there. Some are more interesting than others. And my sister said something to me. She said, "What do you think about Brady coming back?" And I like laughed. I was like, "Yeah, okay, you're funny." And she's like, no, seriously. I was like, yeah, that was definitely a joke that you must have seen on Twitter or something. And she said, no, it was his Instagram. And I couldn't believe it. I had to go check, and sure enough, he's back. But I guess I, I, guess I shouldn't have been surprised that he's I back. I am very surprised. I did not see that coming. Not going to lie. I didn't see it coming uh -oh. so fast. I mean, he was retired for like, felt like five days, you know, before he yeah. came back. Did you see uh, it was someone on ESPN where, where like LeBron made him come back or something like that? Yeah, I saw yeah, something like that. It was that, something that. like that. LeBron was giving them stuff about being the greatest or whatever. Was that real or was that I fake? I think it's real. I can I see know, that happening, man. Fake. I mean, Brady's I'm competitive, so, you know. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's oh, the, man. one of the most competitive. All right, here we go. All right, oh, let's uh, let's tie this shots. thing back up. Bring the ball down the court. Here we go. Come on, AJ. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I know that, uh, if, first off, which way does the hand go? Is it the left or right? It's got to be. It's got to be. It's, it's the right. It's got to be. It's the right, right? Okay. Is it the right here? And then I know that East Lansing is pretty much right. In, in the, the middle, in right? In the middle, lower And then we middle. got Grand Rapids. Is, I think, west, right? Yeah. Well, you're going east. And then Detroit is on the complete opposite side, I believe. I think. Yes. Detroit is over by. Detroit is east. Right. Okay. Yeah, Detroit's east. Grand Rapids is west. What's yeah, north? That, that's something I was very confused Mount about. Mount Pleasant is north, right? Yeah, uh, so. I'm not sure. Maybe. Yeah. I think so. I don't really know what's south. I don't Jackson? like. Is that south? Huh? I think Jackson is south, or yeah. maybe that's southeast. We haven't been up north yet. We got to get up north because everyone. No, we should. I hear a lot of good about stuff about it. How great up north, up so, north is in Michigan. So yeah, we definitely got to make a we're trip. Have to test that out. There we go. Push it. Push it. Push it. Nice take, AJ. Woo! First to ever do it. We want to thank the Graduate Hotel, uh, Mountain Dew Energy, uh, the Grand Woods Lounge, Grand Rapids. Definitely. I would take any I, of those I'd be, gifts. I'd so. be happy with that. Yeah, right satisfied. $200 gift cards, party for 15 It's a good way to go go home there. If you had to play another sport in college, what would it be? Not it's basketball. Easy. Not basketball. Not basketball? Not basketball. Man, that is a tough question. Man. I don't know. I mean, golf? No, I don't think golf. Come on. I don't have the patience. And um yeah, I I don't think I could do golf. Maybe baseball? No. 
No? No, I've seen you swing a baseball bat. Baseball wouldn't be it. <laughs> so uh, oh. it takes a little practice, you know? Yeah, maybe you get it down. Maybe a couple it's trips to the good. batting cage, you'd be set. Yeah. All right, Julius, knock this down. Let's go give us the five-point lead. Yeah, the relationship is always there, though, you know, yeah. whenever we see him. Yeah, absolutely. It's all good. We see him around the building sometimes, you know, academic yep. building. Yeah. So, yeah, pretty decent amount of time. Yeah, so we're definitely not strangers. All right, we got one more. What you thinking? Money, period. Yes, yeah. game time. Oh, wow. 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 I mean, we just got to touch it. That's all. We just got to touch the ball. There game. We go. Game over. There we go. Victory from MSU. All right. Well done. Moving on to uh, next round. We will see you guys uh, back on Sunday. Thank you guys for joining us on Campus Cast Live. Again, the first ever. And so we appreciate your guys' support. We appreciate you guys tuning in. And uh, for me and Jaden, thank you so, guys. And thank you. And we'll see you guys anything. Sunday against Duke. Absolutely. Go green. Go white. Thank you guys. Good effort there.